I still know they know Pesero. I know they know him because it's not him that won us this game today. The last time you were asking who's Pacero, has Pacero finally answered the question who he is? Do you know who he is now? Oh yeah now, my people, my people. I still know they know Pacero. I know they know him because it's not him that won us this game today. Personally, look, I've decided. I understand what's going on here. Can it be understand now? What it is that I've just got to accept that we're rubbish. And anything that happens, this tournament, I should just be excited about it. It's the same freestyle way that we've been used to. Do you know how we won the game today? Because I couldn't tell you. But we shall score the goal and they did not score. Three points is all that matters at the end of the day. I'm happy. Ah, well, the way you say it, it just feels like as if we had no plan, we had no strategy. We just went on the pitch and got the penalty and that was it. Exactly that. That's how I feel. So going forward, you don't think that we can actually grow into this tournament? Look, I'm not saying that. We, there's a chance of us growing into the tournament, of course. But I've not seen enough from these first two games to let me know that my, our manager knows what he's doing. That's my issue here. We won the game, yes, and we've got to be excited about it. I don't want to be upset when we win three points because it's three points at the end of the day. But I could not tell you how we came about these three points today. So but I'm just going to get behind it. Pacero to the world and back, Nigeria to the world and back. We move three points. We're second in the group. We just need a point to qualify. You can't be upset at that. Are you confident we could at least qualify ahead of this group? Because we have a very good opportunity to qualify top in this group. If we can beat Guinea, because obviously um, 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 these guys are going to have to battle it out. Ivory Coast needs to beat these guys. I don't know who they're playing. I think Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. And you saw how impressive Equatorial Guinea today on the back of the draw against us. But we also saw what they did to our opponents in our final game and they dismissed them. So, theoretically, we should be able to brush this, uh, this Guinea team just like Equatorial Guinea did. We should be. But as, as I say, it's Niger. Niger, we always like... It's gone vibes. Yes, it, bro, that is what I'm on, vibes. I'm going to come to every game motivated, excited that maybe something can surprise me. And that's all that's going to happen. Surprises everywhere because Victor... Non-existent today. Non-existent. Rubbish today. He's stinking out the place. He's making African Player of the Year look like a joke. And I know he's not a joke. We know he's not a joke. We know he's a baller. We've seen him at the stadium play well on his own. He's at his first AFCON now. It's time for him to wake up and stand up. But I will say in his defense, it's not always the main man that has to do everything all the time. Where's the supporting act? The supporting act are doing nonsense as well. The only thing that I can say we did very well today, defensively, we were solid. Do you think it's a motivational thing? What, for the players? Yeah, you, because, you know, like you were saying, like, um, Victor Simen is thinking of the place because the Victor Simen you see in Napoli is a different Victor Simen you see playing for Nigeria. I, I, to, to be honest, I'm not at the training sessions, but I'd, I'd love to be a fly on the wall there to see how this guy motivate our manager motivates the guys, what his message is, whether they even understand the message he's really trying to get across because... Like, I'm looking at his stats as a manager. I don't think... I think the longest reign he had was, like, maybe four, 47 games or something like that. Like, come on. Come on. And Some people are already this. playing vibes music in the Look, background. Because it's a vibe. That's it. I've got Niger now vibes now. We've got to enter the vibes. Because that's all we are. And when I'm praying the same way vibes took us to the AFCON under Keshi. I'm hoping he does it again. Nah, but Keshi was a serious yeah, coach. Yeah, of course. Keshi knew what he was doing, but our style was Higiaga too. But we had a better quality of player and there were at least some sort of plan. But it's vibes and inshallah. And that vibes and inshallah led to the current, what was that? Silence in Abidjan, sponsored by Nigeria. Thank you.